Liquid neural networks are much smaller than traditional AI models and require far less compute power to run. Google has announced Cloud TPU version 5P, its most powerful, scalable, and flexible AI accelerator yet. TPUs are used for training and serving AI-powered products. Google has also announced AI Hypercomputer from Google Cloud, a supercomputer architecture that uses an integrated system of performance-optimized hardware, open software, leading ML frameworks, and flexible consumption models. AI Hypercomputer employs systems-level co-design to boost efficiency and productivity across AI training, tuning, and serving. Sam Altman is Time's 2023 CEO of the Year. Reliable Robotics Corp. has flown a small cargo plane without a human on board. The 12-minute flight, made with a plane on loan from FedEx, was Reliable Robotics' second automated flight. The startup is working to gain full approval from the FAA. Its system will restrict remote pilots to only supervising one aircraft at a time rather than managing multiple autonomous flights. Remote piloting will boost efficiency and allow planes to be repositioned more easily to match where demand is strongest. Spotlight is a highly customizable debug tool for web apps. It notifies developers of errors and other signals as they happen. Spotlight works everywhere, and it is compatible with Sentry's universal SDKs. This post proposes a hierarchy of needs for workers to refer to when picking a startup to join. This article contains thoughts from over 40 of a 12Z's partners on what they believe will drive innovation in 2024. The ideas cover technologies like smart energy grids, voice-first companion apps, programmable medicines, and AI tools for kids. Google's Gemini is a multimodal AI model that the company says will power a new era in computing. The largest version of the model exceeds current state-of-the-art results on 30 of the 32 widely used academic benchmarks used in large language model research and development. A specially tuned English version of the mid-level model is available now in 170 countries as part of Google's Bard chatbot. The smallest version of the model is designed to run locally on consumer devices. JSONB is a rewrite of the SQLite JSON functions. It can be several times faster than the original JSON functions. The year on TikTok 2023 honors some of the standout moments that have happened on the platform this year. It peeks at the stories that have inspired, entertained, and educated over 1 billion people around the world. This page contains links to this year's biggest TikTok videos, trends, songs, stars, and more. It shows trends from around the world, but it has a section for U.S.-specific trends for every topic. Unidentified governments, including democracies allied to the United States, are surveilling smartphone users through app push notifications. The new iPad Air, iPad Pro, and MacBook Air models will all be released during the first several months of next year. The coldness of space is a largely untapped thermodynamic resource. Advances in technology could soon result in solar panels that work at night as well as day. Scientists have already demonstrated that it is possible to chill water, to cool buildings, by as much as 5 degrees Celsius during the day, directly using power generated by the cold universe. This article looks at some current ideas and prototypes in the field. Google's release of its next-generation AI model Gemini reflects years of efforts from inside Google overseen and driven by its CEO Sundar Pichai. Pichai is famously product-obsessed and has infused AI deeply into all of Google's products. This article contains an interview with Pichai where he discusses Gemini and what it will mean for Google, its products, AI, and society at large. Gemini is different from other models as it is natively multimodal from the ground up. 